Hi everyone, how's it going? I am going live in our group today and hopefully you are catching this right now because I'm doing this live on our des my desktop <laughs> and um, I'm still getting used to the, the desktop Facebook lives. So I wanted to pop on and talk a little bit today about 40 day practice. Uh, so if you've been following me, even on my personal page, you have likely watched my journey through a 40-day practice. I have done a 40-day uh, Kundalini Kriya practice three times now. So here's the deal with a 40-day Kriya. 40 days in a row, consecutively, day after day, for 40 days. If you skip a day, then it, the, it's standard in kundalini yoga to go right back to day one and start all over again. So essentially, your 40-day practice could turn out to be 80 days um, as long as you do that practice for 40 days in a row. Um, and here's why. This is why they say it's... Um, it's very beneficial to do a practice for 40 days. And then I'm going to explain to you what benefits I received out of it personally. So when you are doing a practice for 40 days in a row, what happens is it takes 40 days to break negative habits and unconscious patterning. So patterning that's embedded in your subconscious after 40 days of practicing the same Kriya, those patterns begin to uh, loosen up and leave your body. So that's why it's really important to keep going with a 40-day Kriya right up until the very last day. Um, for me, what I found was it was a way for me to see how persistent I am and challenge myself. And that's what I loved about it the most um, was because I, I didn't want to give up. And for me, that was a huge, huge deal because I was typically the person who would give up when something got hard. So when I started to notice that I didn't, didn't want to give up and that this was something that I committed to and I stuck with, um, then I noticed my family was kind of jumping on board. My kids were all for it. My husband would make sure that I had the time and the quiet space to get it done. Uh, and they saw the change in me. And so that was the biggest reason why I wanted to be committed and consistent with the 40 day practice was because I was giving myself a challenge. I was proving to myself that I could be consistent with something. And not only that, but some of the Kriyas and the Asanas in um, whatever uh, Kriya you might choose are challenging, super challenging. And when you first start, you may not be able to complete the entire um, two minutes of the asana or whatever the hold is um, or the breathing pattern is for that specific asana. And so every day I got to challenge myself to go a little bit longer and be a little bit stronger. Uh, and so keeping a journal I would suggest is super beneficial because then you can track, you know, how long were you able to hold this specific pose or um, what did you find difficult? What was easier today? So I always suggest if you're doing a 40-day Kriya, keep a journal with you so that you can track um, how it's going. And then you'll notice when you get halfway through your 40 days, about the 20-day mark, you can likely start doing the Kriya unguided. So you'll kind of have it off by heart. Um, and then you can really make it your own practice. You can add candles, music, oils, and make it super, super um, soothing and spiritual.
spiritual and ritualistic however you want to make it you can make it your own so once you hit that 20 day mark um, you'll be flying through it you'll really be flying through it and finally for me what I love about doing a 40 day Kriya is at the end on that 40th day it's like a celebration and you get to pat yourself on the back you get to just just give yourself like gratitude and it, it's like you you get to celebrate yourself and that was the most exciting part for me not only me celebrating myself but my family celebrating me my kids celebrating me um, and yes I reward myself with you know a nice piece of chocolate cake or a nice big meal sometimes we'll go out for dinner um, whatever is your way of celebrating you you get to do that on the 40th day because it's a super big deal <laughs> to me it's a super big deal so the reason why we do like i mentioned in the beginning a kriya for 40 days in a row is because it takes 40 days for you to break those unconscious patterns and programs that are embedded within your body now it's really exciting when you first start kundalini yoga when I first started kundalini yoga I wanted to do all the things I wanted to try everything but if I could go back and tell myself to do it differently I would so here's what I'm going to tell you today it is super exciting however it is energy work so I when I first started kundalini yoga I was trying all the things and then I was noticing that my energy was super scattered and that's because I didn't quite know what I needed or where to start I just wanted to try all the things and so therefore I was essentially scat scattering my energy and that's why I say pick a Kriya and do it for 40 days then you can track how you feel and um, integrate those energies integrate the work that you're doing with that practice I never allowed myself in the beginning when I first started doing Kundalini to integrate so integration is key and really really connecting with the frequency of what it is you are hoping to achieve by practicing your Kundalini Kriya so here's some tips that I'm going to give you aside from make sure you give yourself time to integrate and find something to stick with in the beginning so number one make sure that the Kriya that you're choosing you thoroughly enjoy it make sure you love it you don't have to love it love it but you have to enjoy it and it can be a little bit challenging so if you're looking at a Kriya and you see some of the moves or the asanas or the breathing patterns and you think oh that's too hard I can't do that I suggest doing it because that is where you're going to be able to challenge yourself and you're going to be able to track yourself throughout the 40 days okay uh, my next tip is to choose one that you can fit um, easily into your day so if you're a busy mom like me for me it was 30 minutes tops in the beginning 30 minutes tops I gotta make sure that I get it in every single day or else I have to start all over so choose one that you can easily fit into your day um, also for me here's another side note for me I didn't when I first started with Kundalini some Kriyas involve chanting chanting out loud uh, so for me it took a little while for me to get used to that and to get past the I guess you could say weirdness of it for me in the beginning it was kind of weird and it felt really awkward now when I look back I know that being able to overcome that discomfort was a huge step in my personal development um, and it's serving me very well today but in the beginning when I first started I didn't want to be you know yelling all kinds of uh, weird words and mantras for my family to hear and I didn't want to have to wake them up if I was practicing my Kriya in the morning so I chose one that did not have 
chanting or mantras in it. So like I said, start small and make sure that it's something that you can fit into your day. And then my third most important tip is to be flexible and be gentle. Be easy on yourself. There are days, especially as a mom, that you're going to get interrupted in the middle of a Kriya or you're not going to be able to, or maybe you just don't have that strength to complete a full asana. It's okay. Just end the asana early, move into the next one, and pick up where you left off. And just keep going every single day and challenge yourself every single day. There were days where I could not finish my entire set because my kids needed me. So instead of beating myself up, I decided to just take it as it is and move on. And I did assume that I completed the practice unless, you know, I only was like two minutes into the practice, then that would mean I would should probably start all over again. But just be easy on yourself because it's, it's very challenging sometimes to stick with a consistent practice, but we don't need to be, you know, rigid with it either. Go easy, flow with it, enjoy it, work it into your day. And that's really all that I've got for you about a 40 day practice. So. On my YouTube channel, I do have some Kriyas that you can get started with if you want to start a 40-day practice. Um, I'm also going to be starting a Kundalini Kriya for forgiveness. Um, there are live classes that you can register for now on my site, which I've posted in the group. Um, and it's also posted on my Facebook page. So if you want to register for that class, um, and if you love that Kriya, then that's something that you could do for 40 day practice as well. Um, and that one is, I think about 45 minutes long, so it's not too long. Uh, but that's what I've got for you. If you have any questions, please comment those below. Any tips or tricks if you have practiced a 40-day uh, Kriya or if you have a 40-day Sadnaha that you are doing right now. I'd love to hear all about it. Tips, love it. So comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll talk soon. Love you guys. Namaste.